Hello everyone, welcome back to my 1973 series, a series of videos in which I talk about 1973 films that uh, I previously had not seen, or it's been quite a while since I've seen. Anyway, 40 years ago, I was born and so I'm watching the movies that came out that year. Um, and I have to admit, um, I'm somewhat ashamed of liking this movie, uh, because I've just watched a whole bunch of really prestigious, well-regarded, classic films from the 70s, and I didn't like them nearly as much as this one, which is a major studio uh, Hollywood murder mystery with a bunch of famous stars set on a yacht. <laughs> but I actually enjoyed this movie a heck of a lot. Um, the Last of Sheila is called. I had never heard of this movie uh, before. Uh, it was sent to me by my good friend Matthew from New York. Um, and um, so I wanted to talk a little bit first about um, the people who made it. Um, the director is Herbert Ross, who I only really was familiar with from the 1995 drama with Whoopi Goldberg uh, called uh, Boys on the Side. Turns out he also directed True Colors, um, and I can't be sure exactly uh, uh, what, what that is. It sounds familiar. But he directed Steel Magnolias, um, uh, Footloose, the original Footloose. Uh, Pennies from Heaven, uh, and uh, The Goodbye Girl, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a few um, older ones as well. Some of the first ones he did were Goodbye Mr. Chips and The Owl and the Pussycat. Uh, Boys on the Side was actually his last film, and he passed away in 19, so excuse me, 2001. Um, this film was co-written, get this, by Anthony Perkins and Stephen Sondheim. Anthony Perkins being um, the actor who played Norman Bates uh, in Psycho, and Stephen Sondheim, the writer of musicals. <laughs> Very strange uh, pairing uh, for a screenplay. Um, but uh, we have uh, a cast, most of whom I was familiar with, actually. Um, Diane Cannon, I knew. James Coburn, I'd seen him in many films. Um, James Mason, uh, of course, uh, was the lead character in Stanley Kubrick's film Lolita. Ian McShane. Now, this is interesting. I was not aware of any film or, or project that Ian McShane had been in prior to Deadwood. When Deadwood came out, I learned who he was, and I just, you know, and then he had a career doing other, other stuff since Deadwood, but I wasn't aware of anything he'd done before that, and it's weird seeing him as a young guy. I mean, he looks the same, but yet he's younger, his face isn't his line. It's just strange seeing him uh, this. Kind of like when I saw Chris Christopherson without his beard and mustache in, um, in uh, Pat Garrett and Bill the Kid. It just looks odd. Um, Raquel Welch uh, is in it. Uh, can't say that I've seen a lot of her films, but I know um, uh, I, I was aware of her. The two people that I didn't know were Richard Benjamin, who plays a screenwriter, and Joan Hackett, who plays his wife. And the two of them, they are amongst this group of people that receive invitations from James Coburn, who plays a, um, a uh, film producer named Clinton, who owns the yacht and has invited some of his friends and acquaintances to come on board for a week in Paris and uh, a week of game playing. And that's something that apparently he likes to do quite a lot. Um, let's see, um, James Mason plays a, a director. Uh, Ian McShane um, is uh, sort of a, a, a manager to um, the uh, actress played by Diane Cannon. Uh, Raquel Welch is also an actress. No, no, I'm sorry. No, he's a manager to Raquel Welch. Sorry, Diane Cannon is a, is a talent agent as well. Um, so yeah, that's the cast right there. A core cast of like seven characters. Um, and they board this ship, which is called the Sheila, uh, and is named after um, uh, um, James, uh, James Coburn's uh, former uh, lady love who died tragically like two years earlier. She was killed um, after she was leaving uh, a party and it was a hit and run basically. Um, but um, Coburn um, has uh, established this game for everyone whereby they, each of them, he assigns each of them a secret which they have to keep to themselves, these little cards which tell their secret is. You are a thief, you know, you are a communist, you know, whatever. Um, and um, they, the objective of the game is to discover each other's fake secrets. Um, but what some of the characters realize after a while is that the secrets that are written on these cards are actually real secrets belonging to someone else in the group. In other words, James Coburn has written down on these cards actual secrets that each of these people have, but he's mixed them up and has assigned them to different people, um, sort of as a little private joke. And one of the cards says, 
you are a hit and run killer. That's the uh, that's the uh, card, um, and and so it it uh, naturally the suspicion uh, falls on the other people in the group as to whether or not they were the ones driving the car that hit Sheila two years ago and and accidentally killed her. Um, so as the uh, story progresses. Um, people are sort of putting the pieces together, not only playing the game, but also trying to figure out exactly what um, uh, the, uh, the producer, uh, James Coburn's motives are. Um, really, really, really good movie. Clever script. Uh, remind me kind of of Death Trap with uh, Steve Mar uh, excuse, excuse me, Christopher Reeve and uh, Michael Caine. Um, and it's sort of like a play, actually, in that a lot of it takes place um, in sort of uh, isolated locations like aboard the yacht. You know, that's like one location with a variety of different rooms. Um, I don't, I, I, it doesn't say anything about it being based on a play. Um, it's an original screenplay, apparently. Um, but uh, it kind of reminded me of that. Uh, anyway, um, really good cast of actors right here. Uh, I, like I said, I hadn't seen Raquel Welch in, in anything before, but I was pretty impressed by her. Um, and uh, Diane Cannon, she plays a really fun character, sort of a... <laughs> There's this joke about her, you know, keeping quiet uh, during some of the uh, uh, games. And, of course, James Coburn is somebody that I've liked a lot. Um, I can't remember the first movie I saw him, but one of the first movies was Hudson Hawk, uh, where he played um, Bruce Willis's nemesis. Um, and, of course, he was in a lot of classic movies from the 60s, the Flint series. Um, and he won an Oscar uh, for appearing in Affliction, and he died shortly thereafter that. Um, he's in Payback. He's been in a, a bunch of stuff, you know both respectable and not respectable. Um, but he's a fun guy. He's got a really good voice. And um, yeah, it's a good film, really good film. And um, yeah, like I said, I'd never even heard of it before. So I'm very, very pleased to have seen it. <laughs> and it's one of the more enjoyable films that I've seen so far. Not that I haven't enjoyed uh, a lot of the films that I've been watching, but some of them have been, you know, kind of grim, downbeat, um, and, and very, very serious. And this one is a, a little more lighthearted, although it is a murder mystery because there is a character that dies uh, during the course of the movie and then people have to figure out, okay, well, why is it that this person got killed and who did it and what exactly was their reason for doing it other than the obvious one, which is they might be the hit and run killer uh, who um, took Sheila's life. Um, but yeah, really, really clever script and, and lots of fun and uh, just, yeah, Good flick, good flick. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew, very much for that movie. Appreciate it. Um, and I have another two of his movies left to go uh, before I finish up um, his recommendations, but also I've got other recommendations from other people that I've yet to get to, a nice long list of them, and of course, I always welcome more. I've got a whole list of 1973 films that I'm planning on seeing that haven't been recommended to me, but if you happen to recommend one of those, then I'll move it up on the list so it'll get done sooner. Uh, so thanks very much. Leave me a comment. Let me know if there's a particular film you'd like me to see. Um, in the description below, you'll find the playlist uh, for all the 73 movies I've done so far, so you know which ones I've already done. Thank you very much for watching. Appreciate it, and I'll see you again real soon.